All right, so every single live stream that I do, I always get the same question over and over and over. And that is, for those of you who are either new to CSGO or just stuck in silver, what can you guys do to get out of silver? Like, what can I tell you to do that's gonna make you get out of silver easier? Now, for that question, there is no exact answer. There's not gonna be one thing that I can tell you that's suddenly gonna make you jump out of silver and go all the way to global elite. But there are many tips and tricks I can give you guys and just general points that will help you significantly improve your game and help you get out of silver as quick as possible. Before we get right into that though, I will quickly mention only a small percent of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed, so if you enjoy this video and you haven't subbed already, definitely make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button and let's hop right into the video. Real quick, I'd like to give a quick thanks to today's video sponsor, DMarket. DMarket is an all-in-one site for buying, selling, and even trading your CSGO, TF2, Dota 2, and Rust skins. DMarket is a trusted marketplace with great prices, low commissions on sales, face-to-face -face trading, lots of payment options for withdrawals, and has many active buyers and sellers. To start, simply click my link in the video description, sign in through Steam, and then input your Steam trade link. To deposit funds to your account, just click deposit, and then choose one of the various payment methods. Click to highlight all of the items that you want to buy, sell, or trade, and choose your action button at the bottom of the page below. It's as simple as that. Get started with DMarket now. Link in the description below. Now before I go into the details here, I will quickly suggest that you guys do watch this video all the way through. I'm going to give a lot of super important information, and I'm going to try to keep it on the shorter side, but I would highly recommend that you watch the entire video through so you can hear everything that I have to say. But actually getting into the tips and tricks now, the first two things that I want to talk about are going to be a bit more directed towards newer players to the game, but are just very important in general. The first thing I want you guys to do is spend time just playing casual deathmatch or any of the other game modes in CSGO. Learn how the game works, learn the mechanics of the game, figure out how the weapons work, and just experiment with it. You want to make sure you have a good understanding of how CSGO works in general. You don't want to hop right into the game, go right into competitive, and be like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to play competitive because that's what my friend plays or something like that. You want to know what you're doing. I highly recommend at least playing casual or deathmatch just to learn the general idea of the game. It'll give you a pretty good understanding of how all the weapons work, how the game responds, how the game works itself, and it will also help you practice your aim and game sense a little bit in the background at the same time. The second thing that I want to talk about is don't play comp until you're ready to play it. For those of you who don't know, comp or competitive is the 5v5 game mode in CSGO that you play to get a rank in CSGO. It's basically the game mode where you can actually get a rank in CSGO that determines how good you are at the game. I would highly, highly, highly recommend not playing comp even if you hit level 2, I would highly recommend not playing it until you know what you're doing in game. You don't want to jump into comp not knowing how all the weapons work or not knowing how the game works in general and then trying to play it. I can guarantee you guys will lose almost every single game you play by doing that unless you get really lucky and have a couple of teammates that carry you to a win a couple of times. Because comp also has less players and casual or deathmatch for example and also because it is a bit slower and longer, you're going to get less practice in the game, you're not going to improve your aim, you're not really going to improve as many things as you would playing deathmatch or casual something that's super repeated csgo can also get toxic really really quickly and playing comp when you're not sure what you're doing is one way you can get your teammates really really toxic really quickly all right now with the more general stuff there said and done now i want to move more on to some of the detailed bullet points of this video of course to get better at csgo you want to work on your aim and before you start working on your aim, you want to find your ideal sense in CSGO. Finding your ideal sense, whatever sensitivity that's most comfortable for you with your mouse, is going to help you aim a lot easier in game. There's plenty of ways you can find your perfect sense, whether you just want to look up a method online, or one way that I recommend too, is by simply just going onto a CSGO community map or even an offline match, shooting at a wall, and then trying to hold your crosshair on that bullet mark as you walk back and forth. You want to try to keep your mouse pointed on that mark as best as possible, Possible, and if for some reason you can't, then that's an indicator that you should either raise or lower your sensitivity until you can keep it on that bullet hole perfectly. Besides working on your aim though, of course you want to practice your game sense and movement as well, and for all three of these things, you can do this all through community servers or even community maps you can find for free on the Steam Community Workshop for CSGO. I've made a couple videos about maps that are really good for practicing stuff like this, so I'll link them down in the description below for you guys. The next bullet point of this video is make sure you're pre-aiming correctly. If you guys don't know what pre-aiming 
aiming is, it's basically when you hold your crosshair in a position that's already aimed at a player model's head. If you're walking around in game, for example, you want to keep your crosshair about around the height of another player's head. That way, if you come around a corner, if you peek around a corner, your mouse is already aimed almost exactly at that same height level of the head of the enemy player, and it's going to be a lot easier to aim over to their head and hit that shot. If you're running around a map with your crosshair aimed at the floor like I do see a lot of silver players doing, it makes it extremely hard to aim, especially when you see a player suddenly and you have to act really fast because it makes you have to move your mouse a lot more, which can cause you to be very inaccurate. If you get your pre-aim down good though, it's going to help you get kills a lot easier. For the next bullet point, pick a couple of CSGO maps and only play those maps. And yes, I know this might be a little bit more on the boring side for some of you guys who like to play every single map in CSGO, but I would highly recommend, especially if you're playing competitive, pick maybe two or three maps that you will always play. Personally for me, I like playing Dust2, Mirage, and Cash the most. And whenever I play comp, and whenever I play comp, I normally only queue for those maps. The reason why I say this is because you wanna learn the maps as best as possible. Yes, you can learn every single map in CSGO by consistently playing every single map, but it's gonna take a lot more time and effort to memorize everything you need to learn for each one of those maps. For whichever maps you're playing as well, make sure you do learn the callouts. Again, there's a lot to learn with each map, and it's part of the reason why I say only choose two or three that you mainly are going to play, because it'll make it a lot easier to learn and memorize all of these different callouts, grenades, everything that you have to memorize when playing one single map. Now, following me talking about callouts, the next bullet point I want to talk about is communication with your team. In CSGO, you do have the feature to be able to communicate with your team by both voice and chat, and you want to use that as much as you possibly can. Work with your team and play together when you're calling out locations, holding angles, or anything like that. While your map in CSGO might indicate where your teammates have seen a player on the map, callouts from your teammates of exactly where those players are are super, super important. Again, it follows off of knowing the callouts correctly, but if your teammates do know the callouts for whatever map you're currently playing, they can easily make that callout over voice chat, which can tell you where the player is, so you can help either assist them or possibly even get the kill yourself. And of course, you also do wanna be doing this yourself. So say you do see an enemy player, or say you maybe die to an enemy player, use your mic and call out where those locations are. Overall though, just make sure you're communicating with your team as much as you possibly can. Communication will give you a major major advantage over other teams i can't tell you how many games i've played where the communication in my team was really really bad but in the other team it was amazing games like that are almost a guaranteed loss for your team because no one's playing together and everyone's trying to play by themselves and that just does not work in a 5v5 type game moving on to the next bullet point try to play with friends or past teammates that you know are good and that will help you win if you have a friend or two that's really good at csgo Try to queue up with them and have them play with you so you can rely on them to be a good player on your team. If you are solo queuing in silver, like I'm sure many of you guys who are watching this video do, even if you find a good teammate in a previous game or something, try to be friends with them, be nice to them, make connections with them so that they will want to come back and play with you again. Playing with people on your team who know what they're doing and who you know will get kills and hit their shots, it's a great way to help you rank up because even if you do make some mistakes, they can help cover those mistakes or they can even help assist you in game again with callouts or stuff like that you want to be able to rely on your teammates and not worry about whether they're going to be able to get kills or not or whether they're going to be able to help support your team and playing with friends or other teammates that you know are good will definitely help eliminate that worry Continuing on to the next bullet point, make sure you always are buying utility when you can in comp. If you guys don't know, utility is basically any of the grenades in CSGO, whether it's a frag grenade, smoke grenade, flashbang, any one of those. Using utility can give you a huge advantage in game over another team. If your team or even just one player on your team knows how to use your utility really, really well, this can give you a huge advantage. Smokes, for example, are really, really useful when retaking a site or even taking a site if you're playing T side. Of course, as well, mollies and grenades can really help do a little bit of extra damage here and there to the enemy team, which will help you get kills a little bit easier. Now, of course, with the utility though, you are gonna have to learn how to use it most of the time, especially if you're trying to do specific smokes. While flashbangs, grenades, and mollies are pretty straightforward, smokes is probably one of the hardest utilities to use in game. If you guys wanna learn how to do smokes for one of the specific specific maps you're playing, I would highly recommend just Googling or looking up a tutorial for it on YouTube. There are so many tutorials for smokes and grenades and all of that stuff for every single map in CSGO. 
I'd highly recommend checking out one of those. And now for the last thing I want to talk about this video is watch how pros play the game. If you guys are ever on Twitch when ESL is live, for example, or if you're ever on YouTube and you stumble across some pro highlights or maybe even a pro replay, just click on it and watch exactly how the pro players are playing. Notice how they play off of each other, how they throw their nades, how they use their utility, and even watch their aim, their pre-aim, their game sense, all the stuff that we've talked about previously in this video. Watching how pro players play will sometimes just give you an idea for one or two things you can do to improve your game or a couple of ways that you might be able to play different to help improve your play style. It's one of those little things you can do that can help I don't know how much it's going to help every single person, but if you do have the time, I would highly suggest watching some pro comp gameplay and just watching exactly what they're doing. Anyways though, that's pretty much all of the tips and tricks I want to talk about this video. I will mention too before the video ends that sometimes you will end up in scenarios where it's pretty much impossible to win a matchmaking game. Unfortunately with Silver, it's going to be the area where you're most commonly going to find really, really bad teammates, annoying smurfs trolls, everything above that would cause you to lose the game. And you are going to have games like that where you can't win the game whatsoever because you're the only one who's trying and everyone else on your team is trolling or maybe griefing or just straight up really, really bad at the game. It's part of the reason why I say don't play comp until you're ready because sometimes you will get teammates who've never played the game before who go right into comp because they think that they're good or I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to have those games where it's just pretty much impossible to win, but don't let that discourage you. Just keep on going, keep on trying keep on practicing and you will eventually get out of silver anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video i hope this video helped some of you guys out and if it did definitely make sure you guys do smash that like button and subscribe if you are new and if you do have any questions or comments for me definitely feel free to drop them down in the comment section below or hit me up on discord my discord server is linked in the description as well and again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace